Hi and welcome to Vacuumax. Today we're here to talk about the Vacuumax model 1040 central vacuum system with bulk bag loading feature. Major components of this central vacuum system are the 15 horsepower vacuum pump at the rear of the assembly, the filter separator separates the solid debris from the airstream, the rotary discharge valve, a bulk bag loader assembly, a square tubular frame, heavy duty, and a complete controls package. We'll talk about each of these features in more detail. The vacuum is the heart of the central vacuum system. It's 15 horsepower TEFC motor that drives a positive replacement vacuum pump that is rated up to 14 inches of mercury. The pump is equipped with a safety filter that's located ahead of the pump, a vacuum relief valve, and a glycerin filled vacuum gauge. The pump package is also equipped with an exhaust silencer and a device we call a low pressure valve. You could also describe it as a vent valve. So different times during the control program, the vent valve will open and this allows maximum efficiency filter cleaning to take place when the vacuum producer is offline. The vent valve or the low pressure valve also open when the high level is reached in the bulk bag uh, out. The filter receiver is fitted with 84 square feet of filter area, Teflon non-stick coated filter media for dust release, and the filter media is also static conductive. So material enters the inlet, light debris travels upward towards the filters, the heavier debris travels downward towards the discharge. The material that travels to the discharge cone and the material that comes off the filters when it's cleaned will go through the rotary valve which is driven by a TEFC chain driven gear motor. Material that passes through the rotary valve, enters the bulk bag loader assembly. Bulk bag loader assembly uh, will fit different size bag necks uh, and it is equipped with a high level probe so that it is possible to overfill the bag. This is critical when it's an unmanned operation. The bulk bag loader, a unique Vacuumax tool, is designed specifically for central vacuum systems for much better material handling of collected debris. A typical bulk bag will handle 64 cubic feet of material, which is uh, about seven or eight times the size of a 55 gallon drum. The bulk bag loader is equipped with a inflation cuff for the bag neck to secure the bag and the bag liner from dust escaping. It is equipped with an empty bag inflation device so that when a new bag is put in place the bag can be inflated for maximum filling. It's also very important if the bulk bag has a liner then the liner will also be expanded for uh, filling purposes. If you don't expand the liner and or the bag, you will not get a completely filled bag. Bulk bag loader is also equipped with a level probe in the neck of the bag, so it will prevent overfilling of the bag. High level in the bulk bag will also vent the vacuum producer preventing any more 
uh, vacuuming from taking place, indicating that it is time to change the bag. The bag loader is also equipped with four arms with hooks, ropes, and jam cleats. These devices will support the loops or the, uh, the ears of the bulk bag, uh, not meant to lift up the entire weight of the bag off the floor, but to keep the four corners of the bag expanded. And they are adjustable uh, with the jam cleats. When the bulk bag is being filled, there is displaced air. Displaced air will exit the bulk bag loader assembly and it will travel up this hose to a fugitive dust sock. This allows the displaced air to exit the bag but to keep the dust still within the system. Any dust that's collected will fall back down the hose and into the bag as it's accumulated. The 1040 filter housing is also uh, unique in that it has three different locations for the inlet depending on where you have to install the vacuum system and how it orients to your tubing network. So from the factory the standard location is in the center as shown but there are two flange fittings uh, 90 degrees apart from that center location where the inlet can be relocated but then you have to move the level probe in the filter separator to, the other, to another location, and then there was also another inlet on the other side of the vacuum. The control panel is a minimum NEMA 4 enclosure. NEMA 7-9 enclosure or purged enclosures are also available. It includes a face-mounted disconnect for three-phase power. It includes a transformer or a uh, power supply to reduce the three-phase power to a control voltage, either 115 volt, 220 volt, or 24 volt DC, depending on the customer's request. The standard is 24 volt DC. You'll see the indicator lights on the front. There is start and stop for the vacuum system. There are indicator lights that the conveying or the vacuuming is on, meaning you have full suction. There is an indicator light for the rotary valve. It is running. And then there are two indicator lights for high level probe. One is for the bulk bag loader high level and the other one is for high level in the vacuum receiver. High level in the bulk bag indicates it's time to take out the filled bag and put in an empty one and the receiver high level indicates that the rotary valve may be having trouble discharging all the material or may it be momentary uh, but it will uh, build up, it can build up in the receiver it will hit high level and the vacuum system will stop, but the rotary valve will keep turning. So that material will continue to discharge and when it resets, you'll get vacuum power again. If the level probe remains latched, meaning the receiver is not discharging material, then uh, you'll need to uh, examine the receiver to see if there's something blocking the rotary valve whether the material has bridged and won't come out, uh, or whether there is some type of failure on the rotary valve. The control panel is also equipped with an e-stop, mushroom-style e-stop, and a uh, pre-plumbed and wired solenoid valve uh, control. Then there is two quick disconnects for the level probe so that the equipment can be easily broken down for shipment. Also included in the bulk bag loader system are two 
individual controls. The upper one is for uh, inflating the empty bag. And that's a simple turn on and off of a ball valve. When the bag has reached its inflated size and shape, then this valve is turned off. There is also an inflate deflate control for the bag neck. When you attach the bulk bag to the bag neck, you'll inflate the collar and it will, you will leave this control in the inflate position as long as the bulk bag is being filled. When time comes to change out a filled bulk bag, turn this control to deflate uh, in order to be able to remove the bag neck. The deflate inflate is a low pressure controller, so the maximum pressure is 9 psi when the system is closed. Uh, and when you turn it to inflate, it goes to about 4 psi uh, for the bag neck. Thank you for this opportunity to share the Model 1040 Central Vac with you. It will provide decades of service, heavy duty operation. It is made in the United States with pride at Vacumax.